So in this session we will look at the concept of fragments and nested views. So let us look at the agenda for this session. So here first I will just explain the overview of fragment and how to use fragment in an application and then I will just explain the overview of nested views and then I will use nested views in an application and at the last I will just conclude by just giving a simple example of both using a fragment and using nested views in an application. Let us see what are fragments. So fragments are lightweight UI parts and that can be reused. So both fragments and nested views are reusable components. We can reuse each and every code while writing in both the fragments and nested views. So within a fragment it could contain one to n elements, one controls. And these fragments they does not have their own controllers. So if we are using a button in a particular fragment, so the coding or the logic behind the button press that should be written in the view where this views controller where this fragment has been defined. So if, uh, if in a view we have defined a fragment and on that fragment we have defined a button. So the logic behind the button will be written in the this views controller. So defining a fragment is similar to defining views within a separate file. So there are three types of fragment, HTML fragment, XML fragment and JavaScript fragment. Now let's just see how to use fragment in an application. So first there are three steps here. So the first step is to create a fragment file within the view folder. And we have to declare this fragment and we just do it by sap.ui.xml fragment. So here this is the demo fragment which is my namespace and followed by the folder name. Here I have used the folder name as fragments itself and this is my fragments name itself. And now these two steps are over. Now we have to define the third step that is to define the content of the fragment. So here what we see, we here this step and this step is by default. So here this particular code could be changed and here I have used the dialog. So the title that is the property I have kept it as my dialog and within this dialog I have used the content and I have used this text and followed by this button which is the end button. So there is this dialog where this text is coming and at the end there is this button. So this was the format of the fragment file. Now moving on to the nested views. So what are nested views? So nested views are also used for reusable purposes. So we can code in the nested views and reuse it multiple times. So the basic difference between nested views and fragments are that they have their own controllers. It's like a fragment that don't have their own controllers but nested views have their own controllers. And it is generally used when the application becomes much complex and all. So to define a fragment, uh, so to define a nested view, what we have to do? We have to write this piece of line and here this is MVC, XML view and view name is name of your view. The, here we have to give the path of the view like we have given in the fragment. That is how to use nested views in a particular application. So there are basically three steps required here. So likewise we did in fragments, we are using here three steps. So first step is to create a view and its particular controller. So that would be our nested view. And in the second step, we are instantiating the nested view. So with this piece of code line and we are instantiating our uh, nested view. And the third step is to create the nested view and to write the particular code in the nested view. So this is the by default code that should be and this is my content in the nested view. So I have used the text here. So you could see here the format of the fragments and nested views. So this is my view and within this view I have this new fragment.fragment.xml and this is my fragment here that I have used. Similarly I have also used my nested view within the view itself. Now let's take a look, look at the example here. So first step would be to create a new SAP UI5 project and then maintain some views and controller folders and now to reuse a piece of UI code, now to create a fragment file and keep it in the view folder itself. And if you are creating a nested view or something like this, so nested, new, uh, nested view should be in the view folder and its controller should be in the controller folder. Now 
when we have placed our fragment file in the view folder now what we have to do we have to declare and define the fragments and then we have to simply reuse the panel of the project and create a nested view and at the last we have to declare and define the nested view and just we have to run the application. So now we will see all these steps in our practical demonstration. So first we will cover fragments concept and after this we will cover nested views. So as I al already told you both are used for reusable purposes. The one difference between them is that nested views have their own controllers and fragments they don't have their own controllers. So let's just start with it. So this is my web ID and we will be doing doing our coding in this particular project that is demo routing project that I have created so this has many views so that's why I thought of doing the coding and using the fragments and nested views in this particular application so let me just show you the, this is the first view here here I will just define a fragment and fragment we had have this one line of code that we have to define and is to define to use fragments we have to do basically two steps first we have to define a we have to create a fragment in the view folder and then what we have to do we have to define the fragment in the view so let's just create one fragment here in the view go to new then to file and now define new fragment something like this name should be something and then this should be dot fragment dot xml so we are creating an XML fragment here. So this is the fragment that we have created. Now we have to use this fragment here. So suppose below the button we will be creating a fragment. So I have the code for this. I will just copy it. Now I have to define this score here. And for that cp dot ui dot core so that's it so here I have defined my core here and in the core I have I am using my fragment and the fragment name is demo routing dot view dot new fragment so this is my path so demo routing is my namespace here view is the folder and inside this folder I have created my new fragment so the type is XML itself so we have instantiated our fragment with this one line of code so I am just saving this now the next step is to write some code in the fragment so let's just copy so this is the basic structure of a fragment here that I am going to paste so this is how a fragment looks this, uh, this is an empty fragment so there is this fragment definition here so now what I will do I will use a button or a text maybe so here in the view one you could see we have used this button let me just show you so here in this view one we have used this go to view two button so now instead of placing this in the view one view we will just place this particular button in the new fragment here I have pasted it and I will also paste a text file text control So here we go. I have placed a button and a text in the new fragment. So I will just save this file. Now if I just run this application here, what will what will happen? This text and this button would appear here. Here we are getting two buttons here. One I suppose I haven't saved this file that's why it is coming still I will just save this now if I just run it again only one button would appear and that would be from the fragment itself so here I am getting one fragment one button and one text through the fragment 
now you would notice this particular event that is press event this would work since this I have defined this particular frag fragment in the view 1 that is in the view 1 I have defined this fragment so this click function I have to define this particular on click in the view 1's controller that is control 1 controller and if I just go to view 1 and here I have, I have already defined it so that's it now if I just click on go to view 2 it would go to go to view 2 so here it is so to make you understand the concept of fragment here that is reusability what I will do I will just copy this and paste it in the view 2 also so in the view 2 also this particular button would appear so here I am I am defining this so I have to write this core xmlns core equals to sap ui dot core so here we go I have defined the fragment in the view 1 and in the view 2 I am just going to save it now if I just refresh it in the view 2 I will be getting two buttons that is one would be the go to split app and the other one would be go to view 2 and these two controls these two button and this hello world have, have been coming from the fragment itself so if I just now click on this view 2 it won't go to view 2 itself but it will go to split view why it's so since in the fragment we had defined the event as on click and in view 2 we could see here on click is already defined for the go to split application so it would take from the view 2's controller here we go on click is defined and it is written as hello router dot nav 2 to master page that's why it has gone to split page so this was the concept of fragments so hope you understood so now we will just go to nested views and for that I have already told you nested views have just one difference apart from that is that nested views have their own controllers so let's just create one nested view here right click on view then go to new file and here I have to create nested view this is similar to any other views itself nested view dot view dot xml so since this is a nested view it should have its own controller also here we go and I'm clicking on ok now here I will just write the code for nested view So I'm going to save this now in the view 1 or maybe view 2 here not in the controller in the view here I will define the nested view with the one line of code here we go so basically what it means is that we can we could nest the views in the view itself so two or three views could be nested within the view so here I have defined this one view here so view name is demo routing dot view dot nested view so it's done I will just save this now I have to define a control within the nested view so let me just take an a text control so it's done so I have defined this nested view in the view to view so in the view to we could see a message popping out it would be this nested view itself 
I'm going to refresh it and if I just now click on this go to view 2 so there is some error let me just inspect it demo routing controller dot nested view could, could, couldn't be instantiated let's see what could be the error So let me see the what the error was and got error controller. So controller, let me just go to the controller on nested view. Okay, here we see the problem is we haven't mentioned the controller still. So let me just copy on the controller. So here I will write nested views. So that's done. Now if I just refresh it again. Now we are getting the view 2 here and this message is coming from the nested view itself. So we could use this nested views in any other views also since this is a reusability concept. So both these fragments and nested views serve for the reusability purpose. So I hope you are clear with the concept of this. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.